fact that it was HMS Duke of York that took Mr. Churchill to America was a well-kept secret. Film now released shows Chief Volunteer Mary Churchill of the ATS seeing her father off. scenes during the crossing of the Western Ocean. This voyage found the Atlantic in one of its most savage winter moods, as you may have gathered from Lord Beaverbrook's recent broadcast. And these impressions were recorded after the battleship had steamed through the worst of it. Captain Harcourt had brought her safely across without any interference by enemy action, though of course her guns were continually ready for all comers. Beaverbrook and Mr. Hadderman talking of tanks and guns and aircraft by the tens of thousands. But mostly the cameras focused on the Premier. The Premier with Field Marshal Sir John Dill possibly discussing problems of Allied coordination. With the first Sea Lord. In a group with the Field Marshal, Brigadier Hollis, Mr. Harriman, Lord Beaverbrook, General MacReady, Sir Dudley Pound and Sir Charles Portal. And in a shot which symbolises Anglo-American cooperation. Finally, the Premier leaving the ship in which he had come to renew those fruitful talks with the President of the United States. As for the Duke of York herself, so far as we know, she's the latest battleship of the King George V class to be in service. Following recent losses in the Far East, she's certainly a timely addition to the fighting strength of the Royal Navy. During a recent visit to Gibraltar by Sir Samuel Hoare, our 